I'll give you the easy way out. Hasagi! Hasagi! Hey, what's up, guys? Russell here. I'm back with another video. So, yeah, guys, it's been super long since I made a last video. So sorry about it because I've been actually really, really busy these few weeks. Uh, has a lot of assignments in school going on. But this is like the last week of school. Uh, I still have like freaking five assignments because I didn't do any of them. <laughs> but I'm just gonna push out this video real quick here just so that you guys know that I'm not dead, I'm still alive. So without any further ado, let's not waste any space anytime and let's just get right into the video. So first part of the video will be me showing my Toy Store merchandise that I got. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, there's actually a uh, Summer Nights uh, Toy Store that's happening, the pop-up store is happening in Korea. So yeah, I got three items here because I am super broke and you guys will probably know why uh, later on. So let's just get into what I bought. So firstly, I got um, the Tsuri uh, key strap key ring thing. You can see it's a character. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's like Summer Night's theme, so yeah, pretty cool. And yeah, over here is like a hollow thing and it says Tsuri here. Yeah, Tsuri. Pretty cool. So secondly will be the photo card frame. So uh, apparently you, there's like uh, nine uh, members of photo cards inside here and also like a, a thing to like kind of like uh, keep your your photo cards in this like display thing. So yeah, it comes in like this pouch. As you can see, it's like pop it open here. Oh, oh, it's like acrylic. All right, so yeah, these are the cards here. They're all like in this like sleeve thing, and this is actually the uh, like the thing that you use to hold the card inside. So we'll just check the, check it out later. We got Nyon, Jongyeon, Momo. Yeah, what I don't like about these cards are the fact that they have some in like vertical and some horizontal, which is quite annoying, I guess. Dahyun, Cheyong, and so it basically it's like the Summer Nights photo shoot. And you decide to just push out a photo card set. So yeah, this is the back. It's like a holographic dust and away thing. Pretty cool. So yeah, this is the, 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 the acrylic like holder thing so I'll just go ahead and like unseal this. Oh so it's actually a magnet thing so you guys can see it sticks together and you want to just take it out and just pull it apart. So let's try putting in like three cards inside here. So yeah three cards inside one of the sides and then if I just stick it in there we go. Not really centered, not really OCD, empty OCD, but yeah, you guys get the idea. So basically, you can just put a, a card inside and the magnet will like hold it together and you can like display it. And yeah, basically, you can just, you can just slot it in here. Yeah, basically something like that. So you can make it stand somewhere and display this card. And the highlight of it, tapestry. So yeah, this is the very first time that they released uh, twice official tapestry. I've seen many uh, like unofficial ones, uh, Taobao. They're, they're really nice, but yeah, they're unofficial, so I kind of didn't buy them. But finally, they released... Holy shit. This is so nice. Like, it just brings me back to my weep days again, I swear to God. I remember I had a tapestry which was on my wall, which is now twice posters. And I remember taking it off very, very clearly and putting a lane 2 poster on it. So yeah, this is this is the first twice official tapestry. Don't know if they'll make any more. I won't have space for any more. But yeah, this is really nice. I got a Tsuri tapestry in the back that's white. So yeah, very, very nice. So yeah, I got all these items from a user called Mioi Weddles. I, I think most of you will know, will know her if you guys use Twitter often. So yeah, a uh, huge shout out to her. Thanks for helping me get the items because yeah, it is, it's like so nice, man. So yeah, now it's time for the big review. I am going to the Twice Arena Tour in Japan, Chiba Makuhari Event Hall. I am so so hyped for it. Basically, if you guys don't know, Twice is having a arena tour in Japan. So basically, they have I think three locations. If I'm not wrong. Actually, four four locations. Four locations. So there is uh, one in Chiba, one in Aichi, one in Hyogo, and one in Tokyo. So basically, I'm going to the very first stop, which is uh, the 29th of September, which is in Chiba, which is slightly to the southeast of Tokyo, not too far. So it's still kind of like in Tokyo. Yeah, basically, if you guys didn't know how I managed to get it, because you know, some of you guys might know that it's hard to get Japan tickets because it's like you need the fan club and shit. So twice we like kind of opened the Japanese uh, 
like official fan club for global like international fans so basically now they accept uh, international addresses and also numbers so you can actually apply for the EMTG ID which previously you can't unless you have a Japanese address or phone number so yeah that's what, like, one of the reasons why I never had a Japanese account because I just found it too much of a hassle to kind of like get proxy shipping and kind of shit like that so basically I was really happy that they released it to global so like literally the mo the day where they kind of sent it out it's like 5pm they just randomly sent out the, the fact that you can buy the, the the fan club internationally and then like literally an hour later they announced that yo the arena tour lottery ticket thing is happening tomorrow for the international fan club so yeah basically I went to buy it I bought the, the, the fan club but I didn't I wasn't really contemplating whether to go to arena tour so it was a very very rash decision I just kind of like you know what I'm not going to twice then KL basically because I didn't go KL so I like, was like you know what let's try to go to arena tour I mean like like from previous like experiences because I've seen people on Twitter I see like like even the W members which is actually the first the like, first priority for Japanese they like lose all of their lottery like literally like they have like three accounts some of them and then they lose every single chance and then like wow so basically I kind of just applied for fun see whether I win if I win I go if I don't win I don't go but the thing is right so basically if you apply you have to pay for it once you win so basically you don't have a choice whether you can you want to pay or not so you just literally just like 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 takes the money from your card and like 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 without even asking you once you win so basically that was the thing, so I was like, oh shit, if I win, like, like oh fuck, I'm so screwed. So basically, uh, when the results were out, uh, yeah, uh, I won the first, my first choice, which is the Chiba Makuhari event hall, and all the other three lost. So, not too bad, so it was like 120 plus dollars for the, the ticket. So, yeah, and then I was really, really excited, I was like, oh man, I really actually have to go to Japan now because I won the ticket, I don't want to like waste it, you know, because I already paid 120 dollars. So yeah, uh, I applied for the ticket, Nigel also applied for the ticket, and also my friend Vince also applied for the ticket, and all three of us, <laughs> because all three of us picked the exact same choices, all three of us won the very first day with the Three Chiba Makuhari Hall on the 29th of September, so all three of us are going to Japan together to go for the event, and yes, uh, Don will also be following us, but he's not going for the concert, so four of us will be going to Japan for the holiday, uh, we'll probably be going from 27th to 4th. We've already bought the, the, the air tickets and stuff. So yeah, just a matter of waiting now. Really hyped for it. Really, really, really so hyped for it. Like, like I'm really hyped for BDZ and like, like I haven't even bought the album because it's so fucking expensive. Yeah, so basically we'll be able to see them perform Japanese songs live. It's like, oh my god. Like for After Fantasy Park Korea, like when they, when, when my friends Ernest and uh, Leslie and uh, Brandon, they went to Fantasy Park in Japan, I was like, I was like copying the merch and stuff like that. But like, you know, merch is a nice thing, but a concert is so much better. Like, like when I, when I saw the set list, they were playing, they were performing like One More Time, uh, Candy Pop and all the Japanese songs. Like literally they won't perform it anywhere else except for Japanese, for, for Japan. So it's like such, a unique experience. I probably, probably will not go back to Japan again because it's really expensive. It's okay. The one thing about Japan is really, really expensive. So this might be the first and the last time I'm going for a Japanese like event or like concert for twice. See how I mean? Like, like might try the high touch next time, but probably not. It's so expensive. So yeah, it's gonna be quite a unique experience. But unfortunately, it's only one day, so it might be a little bit like shag lah. You know, cause. Mm, one day but yeah better than nothing so yeah we're going to be there for seven days we'll probably be doing other shit for yeah days so yeah i'll be vlogging all the days probably so do stay tuned for the vlog it's gonna be quite lit because it's literally for this going so yeah and yes uh for bdz i'm actually holding a group order for uh once edition uh, album for uh bdz so i'll just go through really briefly of what uh the, the bdz uh once edition has so there's actually a lyric book 32 pages inside and then also uh like i think in the lyric booklet it's like a mini photo book kind of thing so yeah better than last time they didn't the once edition never had any photo books basically like one page of like a picture so yeah, this time there's 32 pages, so it's pretty good. And there's also a 3 x 3 folded poster. In capsule. So it's like Google Translate shit, but I assume that it's like a folded poster inside the album because it's it in capsule. How do you pronounce that? On on capsule? I don't know. And then it's also a member message printed training card. One out of ten. So this is actually a different 
photo card. I don't know whether it's a photo card or a card, but yeah, it is a different set from the regular editions. Cause uh, yeah, there's also A, B, and regular for this BDZ. And yeah, so in the regular editions for the A, B, and the regular, they have their own one of ten as usual. The member nine member photo cards and their one fucking group photo card. And then there's and then this is one edition thing where they said member message printed trading card. I'm not sure whether the translation is accurate, but. Yeah, I don't read Japanese, so yeah, I just use Google Translate for this. So so yeah, and then inside there will actually be a code. So basically, what I'll be doing is the group order will be done so that uh, the albums will be shipped to a Japanese friend and he will help to like unseal the albums and like show and take pictures of the code. So basically, the code can ena enable me to win some stuff in like the arena tour. So I want to try to have a chance to do that so the albums will be unsealed. But rest assured, I'll not be touching the photo cards at all because I don't really care the photo cards. So I'll just be giving out randomly without looking at it. Only the Japanese friend uh, will be seeing it. Like. Basically, yeah, that's about it guys. Um, if you guys want to do my group order, uh, check the link in the description. There's a link to my carousel, uh, the listing where I'll do the group order. Just message me down there, drop me a message and, and I'll settle it with you. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm still really busy so uh, I probably won't be doing much videos uh, like in the next like few days or so. So yeah, this is just an update, update video guys. So if you guys like this video, do hit the like button. And also if you guys are new here, do hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell. <laughs> what am I even saying? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.